overly suspicious device right there. It looks like it's totally made from space technology. That must be it. But how are we... Destroy it, Desco! Huh? Desco? Sure, but as a final boss, Desco should build up enough power over time to destroy it with one big bang type of thing. Hurry up! Just use a beam or something and destroy that thing already! S sorry Desco is on it! You suspicious creatures, halt your suspicious activities at once. I have no intention of being called suspicious by some parasites on the moon! Do it, Desco! Don't move. We have no choice but to take appropriate measures if you keep interfering with us. If you really wish to stop the device, you must submit a claim to the Office of Lunar Devices and go through the official channels. Are they out of their minds? There's no time for official channels! The moon is gonna blow up! This is an emergency! That's why we're here! We don't have the time to converse with you aliens! Unable to cross us. The Earth has agreed to this as well. What is the emergency? The Earth agreed? No way! Nobody on Earth would ever agree to this! Well, that may be. However, we've already received approval from the ruler of Earth. You mean Judge Nemo? Then this was all planned by him after all. No, that is incorrect. No? Then who approved of this? The Supreme Conference. Human extinction is the consensus of the 20 billion planets registered under the Pan-Galactic Alliance. What you say? The hell does that mean? What's a consensus? Basically, many aliens all over the universe have agreed to destroy the moon and drive human beings to extinction. Are you serious? Why would stupid aliens decide to do that? I won't allow it! When you exterminate pests in your house, do you ask the pests for their permission? Some humans Pests of the universe. I couldn't agree more with that sentiment, but not with the destruction of the moon. The moon shouldn't be sacrificed to kill the human infection. That's right. The current state of the humans is that of harmful pests. That is why I'm going to turn the human world into Hades and re-educate them. We're being treated as pests by demons and aliens. Don't need the power of aliens. What they need is Hades and reformation. That being said, I don't care whether it is the consensus of the Supreme Conference or not. I have no intention of obeying you. Uh, unable to process. Are you going to oppose the entire universe? I sure will. And I'll keep opposing you until you bastards change your decision.
eat this! I'll torture you good.
go!
me! Stop the destruction of the moon. Nope, not yet. Sorry, there's actually another ignition device somewhere else. You can't stop the destruction until you turn that one off, too. This man, how did he come to the moon even though he's human? He was visiting the netherworld, too. I'm sure he has ways to get to the moon. Judge Nemo! I heard you approved this plan. Hey, you! How dare you approve this without my consent! Now, now, calm down. Humans are destined to go extinct. They're nothing but the pests of the universe, so naturally, aliens have decided to exterminate them. And just destroy the Earth? Why sacrifice the moon along with them? The only thing they want to get rid of are the humans. They're going to reuse the Earth later, so they don't want to make a big mess. Recycling a planet? Whoa, aliens think on such a large scale. But destroying the moon will affect more than just the humans. Didn't they think about that? We're talking about a universal scale here. I'm sure they don't care if a small sacrifice has to be made. Some workers were even complaining about how much of a pain it would be to exterminate only the humans. No! That's horrible! That's when Judge Nemo came around. Destroying the moon would have been done a long time ago, but I held it off for a while. I convinced them at the Supreme Conference that my plan would work better, and it would cause less damage to the Earth. It wasn't all that hard to convince the universe to go with my plan. 
since it was gonna end with the same results. But you guys ruined my Earth-friendly plan. And that's why the moon is getting blown up? Why are you trying to pin this all on us? But it's true. If you guys didn't interfere with my plan, the Earth would have been left unharmed. This discussion is pointless. We have no intention of destroying the moon or the Earth. For what aliens intend to do by playing God, we're not going to give in so easily. I won't allow some aliens to evaluate and judge the future of our worlds. Yeah, but... Thalmatoras, aren't you doing the exact same thing? Judging and evaluating? but the scale of the Supreme Conference is much, much bigger than yours. Watch your filthy mouth, human. No matter how big the scale is, it doesn't matter if it's wrong. My lord is offering to help those pests that were forsaken by some moronic aliens. That's the scale of a true ruler. A ruler who only knows how to discard. <laughs> You're placing your inadequacies on a pedestal and posing as a god. How irritating. My lord's absolute violence will surely break that rotten scale of yours and your incompetent simpletons. And let the universe know the legitimacy of Tyrant Valvatores' scale. Well said, Fenric. You flatter me. <laughs> Demons preaching about righteousness, huh? This is just sad. It's as if I'm watching a bad comedy. I'm a little embarrassed by how obsessive Fen Fen is about Thousand, as usual. Still, I agree with them. Fuka Kazamatsuri totally supports Bowsy. Desko gives her support to Mr. Bowsy as well. Forget those unknown aliens. As a representative of the Netherworld, I support him as well. I'm sure Father feels the same way too. By celestial law, Angels are forbidden to support demons. But I support Mr. Vampire as well, as an individual. Hmm. <laughs> well, then I have no choice but to respond to all of your support. I promise all of you here, I will stop the destruction of the moon and save the Earth! This shall be my declaration to the entire universe! This is my manifesto! A demon will save the Earth. Sure, go ahead and try it. And then realize how useless you really are. You won't save a single soul. Just like that one time. That one time? What was he talking about? 